Now, it's made up of some 1,800 billion pieces of waste that weigh an estimated 80 million kilos. A giant rubbish patch, three times the size of France, is the target of a clean-up project that's underway in the Pacific Ocean. A U-shaped pipe trailing a three-metre deep net will scoop up the rubbish, uh, which will then be shipped back to the shore. Uh, Dutch inventors who raised 250 million euros in crowdfunding are behind the operation. Uh, well, I'm joined uh, now by Ocean Cleanup Foundation team uh, member Arjean Chemala. Good morning to you, Mr. Chamala. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us on the programme this morning. And now you've set yourself a goal of, uh, of cleaning up 90% of the world's ocean plastic by the year 2040. Uh, day one was yesterday. How confident are you that that goal can be reached? Yeah, that's correct. And uh, we are quite confident that we can reach the goal. Um, we are now, de uh, indeed, we have deployed the first system out in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. So actually, as of yesterday, we are starting to get uh, information on uh, how it actually performs. So that will uh, confirm our confidence in reaching that goal. But up to now, we are very confident that we can do that indeed. Uh, and what would you say to critics who say that actually rather than these islands of plastic floating in the ocean, the real danger is microplastics, uh, little particles of plastics that get ingested by fish, by sea life, which obviously then come up the food chain to humans. What would you say to those people who say your, your net cannot catch those tiny particles? Well, the, the, I agree that those tiny particles are a big part of the problem and, and maybe even the biggest part. And uh, we found that 92% of the plastics out there are bigger than those microplastics. And those are the plastics that we think we can definitely catch. And maybe also the microplastics, but we still need to learn about that. But we want to catch that 92% of bigger plastics before they turn into microplastics and also become such a big issue. OK, and again, what about people who say that perhaps it would be more efficient to start tackling this problem further up the chain of events? So rather than dealing with plastics once they're already in the ocean, how about putting these sorts of nets and catching them in rivers and upstream before they hit the oceans? Well, that certainly needs to be done. And we think it's, it's two sides to the problem, that the, the source needs to be closed because otherwise plastics keep flowing into the ocean. But also, like you just said, the microplastics and the other plastics that are already out there in the ocean are a big uh, hazards to uh, marine life and also to humans. So we think that that needs to clear, needs to be cleared up, uh, regardless of uh, um, whether or not the source will be closed. But the source needs to be closed for sure. But besides that, we think we also need to clean up the plastics that are already out in the ocean and doing the harm.